Welcome everyone to 7 Minutes or Less, talking about the shows you love and want to get into. Today we will be talking about The Witcher Season 1. Man, it has been a minute since I have reviewed a TV show. Been so focused on my new segment, A Life in Film Cinema Spotlight, that I haven't had much time for anything else. But, alas... Here we are. I'm going to try and make more time for TV, and this is a show I have been wanting to watch and review for a while. The Witcher, which stars Henry Cavill, Anya Chalotra, and Freya Allen, and is a show based off of a series of books of the same name and video game series, tells the story of Geralt of Rivia, a witcher whose path is destined to cross a sorceress, Yennefer of Vengerberg, and Princess Cirilla, to which these three have never before met. Fantasy shows and movies are kind of a hard thing to come by for me, even the ones based off of video games. I'm a rather picky person when it comes to it, and I am also under the belief that there aren't a lot of good fantasy shows nor films. The last great show that I saw was Game of Thrones, and, well, we all know how that turned out in the end. Then, of course, we have Lord of the Rings, which is perfect in every way. But it's not to say that these different shows of different calibers, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. They're just, these are the ones that I hold in high regard, and I am hoping to expand my filmography. I didn't have to wait any further as The Witcher rolled on December 20th and gave me an eight episode season I wish was longer in episode count, and, I, and it gave me all the fantasy elements I had been craving for. Magic, fight scenes, expansive world, creatures of CGI, and prosthetic effects. So watching the first episode, I didn't really know what to expect. Watching the trailers, it gives you it gives you an idea of what the show will be about, but it doesn't disclose much except for who will be involved, how much you can't outrun destiny or outmatch it, and the various other themes. It took me a full episode to really feel anything for the characters, understand what was going on, and by the time the show's first episode ended, I actually can stand behind the fact that I think it was worth the investment. There is a fight scene filmed in one take in the first episode that was pretty much the selling point for me, and technically speaking, because I'm such a sucker for tracking shots, that's cheating. But it's a fun technical aspect for me, and I love fight sequences and situations done in that regard. The dialogue isn't forced, but it does have its moments of hammy or cheesiness. There is a smirk, a bit of humor, and a chance to really see that not everything is trying to take itself so seriously. There are some good to great fight scenes that I feel like were well crafted and executed. There were also two big battle sequences within the show that I feel range from decent to good. One in episode one was decent, but it, it didn't hook me as much as I wanted it to considering I didn't know what was at stake yet. But there is a battle towards the end that I felt it was really well executed, mostly for the fact that it appealed to the inner nerd and fantasy hound in me. And I understood what was at stake more now that I was along for the journey with these characters. There is just enough to be appreciated here. Likeable characters, a story that feels worth the time to develop, dialogue that reaches just far enough, not testing your patience, a romance that I could get behind, an expansive world that left me fascinated to know more. As I continued my journey into this season, that's what I was really taking away from all of this. A world-building fantasy epic that doesn't take itself too seriously, that it leaves no room for anything else. It doesn't say, look at me, I'm the next Game of Thrones, take me seriously and appreciate my production values. Among the dialogue, situational drama and comedy as Geralt goes about the land helping people is the character moments, especially between Geralt and the bard Yaskier, who I must admit got a little annoying at times, but delivered a really awesome song, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher. So he gets a pass. I enjoyed watching the other stories following the sorceress and the princess as well. In all honesty though, I didn't know where their stories were going to go. I honestly enjoyed watching this and not knowing where it was going to go and not being able to predict as to who they'd interact with and what would happen and what they could do. It was very refreshing. The sorceress story I found the most fascinating as she is trained in magic. When she starts off, you feel the story will be about beauty, desiring to be important in a world that doesn't accept you as who you are. And it is, 
but then it changes and forms into something different while keeping that same element. Her story doesn't beat you over the head with it hoping to get its point across. The princess's storyline is good, but probably the weakest plot element. She encounters so much and sees cultures and civilizations through her journey as she suffered through a tragic past that we actually witness. So we watch her grow and learn, but it takes her more time to which it slows things down to a degree. While our adult characters learn and adapt quick enough, she is merely a child, thrusted upon all this, so we can't fault her for not learning quickly, but it does slow things down a tiny bit. The way the story is told is not your typical beginning, middle, and end, and it's over, see you next season. There is more to the story, and you gotta pay attention before you start thinking you know where this is all going. Where my flaws for this show begin, I feel can be argued that I'm not a fan of the book nor the games, so the fact is, is that the dialogue is giving out a decent amount of exposition throughout the eight episodes, and mentions names and territories and past experiences like No Tomorrow, so it can be a little hard to keep track for someone like me who has issues with names and places when I'm not completely familiar. But, nevertheless, I really enjoyed this season of The Witcher. I find myself going to go back to it and really want to soak in more, as I feel like the show is rewatchable. And by the end of the season, I think it finds its footing, and when it all comes together, I find it to be that much more intriguing than when it first began. I'm going to give The Witcher Season 1 a B+. I really think you should check this out. Enjoy it for what it is, not what you want it to be. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching my review of The Witcher Season 1. I do hope you enjoyed my review for it. If you have anything to say, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to my channel, check out my TV show and movie reviews. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything. And with all that said, I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.